this is not about <laughs> social media this is real life the least amount a man should have in his account before you get married because marriage is expenses children wife so at least say you know to get money at least 50 million should be in your account 50 million say I was, ah! yes Except the wife is like a, an understanding wife, and I don't, I don't advise any woman to be an understanding 50 wife. Fifty million. Yes. So if the man doesn't have up to fifty million in his account, at least. You know, at least. Yes. Okay, if you want to say okay, twenty million. It's not about getting married. Don't even have a child. Don't even be a baby, baby daddy if you don't have at least that amount in your account. It's easier for a woman to succeed than a man. Yes. You get a place where woman fear and a man not go near her. Now. How do you want him to get this 50 million? So what should now have the poor people say that No, poor people can, they can try. I don't know. If you're able to capture girls that we have not spoken to yet, then good for them. Hi guys! Welcome to Moments with Blessing CEO. I tell you, Senna here, and the undiluted, unshakable buzz booze. We're here again to talk about a very very interesting topic and i cannot miss by introducing my mini me i actually call her my mini me because when i was starting ah i was hot so this is cider Bodge and cider Bodge, welcome to moments with blessing see you hey guys this is cider Bodge and i'm see, I see the fang oh. is always disturbing us it's <laughs> always trending right so that yes, is cider yes. Bodge, and um, we are all happy to be here so um there's a story we have and I feel it's related to young people. And Cider Watch has been one person that has been very outspoken. You know, everybody wants to be a bandwagon, but she's the kind of person that I have. Okay, let's look at it from this way. Let's look at it from this way. So we're now going to start with the story. Then God says today I get guests. They're not going to heap all the call on me. <laughs> so um, I want to start with the story someone sent to me. He said um, he's 27 years old, according to him, but he wants to get married. I asked him why. He said he doesn't have so much that he's doing, mm. um, but he just wants to be a family. He feels like when he builds the family, it's going to bring a sense of responsibility. Mm. I said, no, marriage is about um, money. Yeah. Why not go and make money before you come back to marriage? I even told him you don't even deserve to have a girlfriend. Yeah. And you notice when we say this on the media, it's as if we are instigating young girls to be materialistic. No. Yeah. There is no sweet marriage without finance. All exactly. those ow, 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 ow. All those ow, 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 ow that you are doing. Trust me. <clears throat> so the guy is now asking. He said, how comfortable can a man be before he gets married or be in a relationship or marriage. You get that, right? Yeah. He's asking us, how comfortable now do we think as women that men can be before they can come and enter a relationship? Yeah. Before they come and miss marriage. So I watch, I'm going to push that question to you. <laughs> okay. Move your camera on your mic so that they can hear you. Okay. Okay. At least... The least amount a man should have in his account, I'm not, this is not about <laughs> social media, this is real life. The least amount a man should have in his account before you get married, because marriage is expenses, children, wife. Your wife needs to be beautiful. No, if you marry a woman, they keep her the sofa. Just like the, us. the sofa. Exactly, beautiful like yes. us. <laughs> yeah. So at least say, you know, to get money, at least 50 million should be in your account. 50 million, say I was. Ah! Yes. Except the wife is like a, an understanding wife, and I don't, I don't advise any woman to be an understanding 50 wife. Fifty million. Yes. I still say I get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> your children don't want to go to school. Like I don't understand. How do you want to? How do you want to train your family? But most of these people, rich people, were trained like Obiku and them. Did they, did they have fifty million? Uh, everything is grace. Not everybody has the same grace. So your children need money to grow. So if the man doesn't have up to fifty million in his account, at least, you know, at least. Yes. Okay. If you want to say okay, twenty million. It's not about getting married. Don't even have a child. Don't even be a ba baby daddy if you don't have at least that amount in your account. You don't believe that if um, God has a way, God no, no, has no, no. a At least let's plan first before God. God will plan later, but plan first. That's how it should be. Okay. Look at women suffering. Have you seen, have you seen women where they suffer? 
Like, and, and it's a norm to them because they are used to it right now. They feel like it's a normal thing because of a man. They feel like they are understanding to the man, but the man feels like they are not okay upstairs. Hmm. So do you understand? Love, love should wait first. I know it's, it's not easy when you love a man, you want to understand him, want, want to move him and start with him. Me, but calm love, down. Right? They've loved her. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, That's how you're meaning me. <laughs> so, Sarah Bosch said 50 million. For me, I'm going to disagree with you because hmm. my brother did not have 50 million in his account. Hmm. And my father used to tell me that when he wanted to marry my mom, and there was this educated man that wanted to come and steal my mom from him, hmm. he quickly brought out the 300 naira he had then hmm. as his savings. Then. Then my mom now brought 700 naira. To pay her bride price. Oh, she's a sweet woman. I, I'm just trying to tell you in those days, but my mom, every day in the house, gave me my bride. My, mom, my father said, have I not finished paying the bride price? Mm. So my point is, where did we get to the point whereby we are now afraid to assist our men? Because if you yeah. look at it side that watch, and we are very honest, yeah. it's easier for a woman to succeed than a man. Yes. You get a place where woman fear and a man not go near him. True. So now, how do you want him to get this 50 million? How does this 50 million come with this economy? If you don't have 50 million, maybe you have 10 million. Your sense, your sense of reasoning, your mind, your conscience should be 40 million. Okay, with 40 million. Yes. Yeah, 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 to, to balance the 10 million. Or because let me tell you, it's not like women cannot, cannot go into the marriage and say, okay, let's wait for it to get better. Okay. But most times they do these things and at the end of the day, they regret it. Their husband will now look at them, okay, you've given birth, your body is now dropped, this, that. Let me just go and follow this small girl. But forgetting that your wife was prettier than that girl when she used to be a... Do you understand? So these mm. men forget easily. So they're not worth spending yeah, or suffering. Sure. Yes. Ah, the, ah, please, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Really pissed. For me, um, I kind of disagree with you. For me, I feel like, for me... Um, maybe I think in real life I'm a lover girl. Yeah, I am too. I'm that kind of person that if I'm by your side, I'm your ride or your die. But yeah. I think even you and I, we got to this stage of money, money, money. Yeah. Because of a reason. Exactly. I used to say something inside a watch. I said it that day and it was a buzz. I told, I said, if you refuse to give your wife attention, yeah. And give her money. Yeah. She will give it to a boy that will fuck her. Yes. Right. Yeah. And give her attention. Yeah, so it goes so now, together. This trade by butter, you say you want to buy five private jets. Now your your gets one and then they help you service your they ships the wife. Wound. That's the truth. Yeah. So me I feel growing a home is from a scratch. Hmm. I don't believe in having fifteen million for me because what is this 50 million for? For ceremony of bunch of idiots. Okay. People will come and tell that they did not eat chicken on your wedding day. Okay, so you are, you are, you're willing to risk 50 million for love because you feel like you love him. What if the love does not go well? You will wish you had a 50 million. So why not just go with the money first? No, then the, love comes later. No, one thing that about me is I don't go into things I'm not convenient with. Yeah. Like, if I give you something right mm -hmm. now, I don't remember that I've given it to you. Yeah. That's the truth. So for me, if the relationship goes, go get some, we all benefit. But I feel of... like it's going to be a different case when a man is involved. Because trust me, even no matter how we try to, when a man breaks your heart, he breaks your heart. And it's really deep. He breaks some women and they cannot recover from it. Okay. Do you understand? So most times, girls who, who talk about money and all about money, it's not like they love money, they don't want attention. They also want those things. But I feel like, okay, I did this before and it didn't end well, so why should I do it again? Hmm. There are some girls that will say, okay, I did it before, it didn't end well, but I'll try again. Not all girls are willing to try again. Some girls are broken from the first time. From the second time, they are broken, they are, they are done. Okay. So that is it. My father did not have 15 million before he married my mom. He didn't have it, but I'm not my mom. As time went on. Yeah, and I'm not my mom, too. Do you understand? I, I like that word. I'm not my mother. Exactly. <laughs> my mother came and told me, in the history of our lineage, I'm the first to do that. I said, one person has to break record. Exactly. <laughs> and it's not about doing it. It looks good on you. So, yeah, what's the, what's the gist? <laughs> what's the gist? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just um, people trying to impose their mentality. On you. For me, I'm going to actually say, you don't even need 50 million. No? Yeah. If you see a woman that genuinely loves you, you know, we are the ones that create problems for ourselves. For me, yeah. 
If I'm going to get married tomorrow, said I watch, I bet you it will be so quiet. Exactly. As it should it will be. be so quiet. I don't like noise. Now, those 50 million we are gathering, we are gathering it for a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Remember, we are going to have children. Yeah. So this 50 million we want you to do wedding. Let's give it for our kids' school fees. Yes. School fees now, everything oh, else. Do you mean wedding? Yes. I mean, when I mean, I mean family, like children and wives, take care of your family. 50 million? Yes. What do you want this to get, get, get it from? If you get it now, that's why he has to be rich. That's why I emphasize on rich. If you're not rich, sorry, it's not for you. <laughs> so what should now have the poor people say that what? No, poor people can, they can try. I don't know. If you're able to capture girls that we have not spoken to yet, then good for them. <laughs> Good for you. Know me, I said, it's <laughs> it it's me and you. Me and the CEO. Like, <laughs> drag her like a... <laughs> but that's just the truth. Yeah. She's making a whole lot of sense. In as much as um, she's putting figures, right? We're just doing it for fun. But relationship and marriage is never interesting until a man takes up the mantle, yeah. the responsibility. There's no two ways about it. So um, my anger these days is the fact that because women are becoming more successful, they now marry husbands. Yeah. Do you know women go and pay for a man's bride price just to live with a man? I think it was just India. It happens in it Nigeria. It happens in Nigeria here. You will see a wealthy woman camp a small boy just to be sleeping with him. What? I've had a case of this woman wanted to run away with her husband's driver. Driver? Yes. Because he, he was good in bed. What? You know why? You know you know why she thought of that. I feel like it's because she's already rich. If she was broke, she would not think of that. She's not rich. So she like her husband. Her husband is not a rich man. Her husband is the rich one, but he's not always around. Yeah. If you want to be rich, we do stand. You in know one when place. you're when you're rich and comfortable, you get bored. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's that's boredom because a woman who is poor and looking for money to take her and everything will not think about running away with a driver. She I, I think probably would so have I guess that's, that's the disadvantage of being a rich woman. You know how much you don't see for your guy before you call it knock your guy wife. <laughs> so money should come with attention then. You guys are but some girls don't care. Once there's money, go and do whatever. I care. I, I want money and attention. But money comes first. And as much as I'm trying to be professional, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want money. <laughs> I do not come and say bless it's you. Know, you if Chicha, you say you don't want money, I'm here for you now. I'm, come and take me. <laughs> okay, guys, we're still on the topic of yeah. what age do you think? a man should get to before having a relationship or a marriage. Yeah. The phone lines are open. You can call to share your opinion. Yes. Why we still dissect the matter? The point is a lot of men are confused. Some people are matured mentally, but they're not mature physically. Yeah. I used to say the men we have these days and the men we have during the days of our forefathers, they are two different, different men. If you say this recent they want to be they princess. Mad. I say they want to be princess. They want to be queens. There was a time men pay school fees, train wife. Now any smart thing they ask you, what do you do for a living? When they see you with a car, that's gold digging. And yeah. I keep saying this because you put spoil them. And I always ask women before the calls start to come in. If a man does not provide for you, what will he be doing for you? Exactly. You go chop fork, money. Chop in a stamina, maybe I don't go die you. Chop fork after I chop said that women. recently. Right? No. So there has to be some sort of certain level of finance. Yeah. And there's something about you women you need to stop. There's nothing like my husband will change. Yeah, exactly. If you know, I remember there was a story that came out on a blog and the lady said she cannot marry a man that does not have a car. Come and see the way they said about she had. I say, wait, 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 wait. Does she have a... I don't need to have a car for... I say, I don't want. Yeah. Don't impose on me. your poverty Your on mentality. Me. Eh? We want rich people. You that like poor boys. Then take, then take them. That's what we're living there for you to take them. Like, you understand? It's not by force. And you'll see come to your... They might come and beg you for 2K. For, for advice, too. Uh, and for advice. Please advise me. One kid that I have... Uh, 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 my husband broke up to the head. And I asked her, you going to just be saying she doesn't have money. Both broke her head. I said, I said she doesn't have money. I told her, yeah, go and meet your husband and your children. <laughs> when you were doing Kerewawa. And those are the kind of people that 
They don't even pay attention. Yeah. Once they hear instant about marriage, they will jump out like goats. Yes, and start talking. I used to tell people that the real marriage doesn't even come out on the media. Exactly. People who are really who married, are happy. Thank you. The rest you are seeing, they are just content creators. Yeah, trying to fake uh, it for you guys to say, oh, that oh you know, is not real. Face no. reality and do what is good for you. So feel free to call the phone number on to ask any questions you want to ask. Or if you wanted to contribute, what age do you think is enough for a man to get married mm. to a woman? Or even to date me. Before a guy will date me. Age? Me, I hate underage boys. I don't do underage boys. I would rather do a sugar daddy than do an underage boy. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm molesting them. I feel like I'm taking advantage of them. Yeah. You've not got it to that point point now, eh? What is what is a 16-year-old boy doing with you? Yeah. And it makes them grow so fast when you look at some boys that 10 years they already have sex. That's the truth. That's true. You see them carry kids to the backyard and yeah, touching, you know, and, touching all. and all those stuff. So I'm going to say, personally, there's no fa- there's no time frame. For me, if you meet a man and you love him. And you, on your own, you are comfortable. Yeah. I think you guys can start from somewhere, somewhere. Because, trust me, Rome was not built in a day. And you want to follow it like that. Trust me, we will never date any man. Comfortable. Now, so rich will take enter. Yeah, the thing is that eh, not, most ladies are ready to start with a man. Do you understand? Sometimes we be able to like, say we, we, our head is hot, we want this already, but deep down, no one start. But where would you start with somebody you're not guaranteed of? Like someone that you're not sure of? Do you understand? Someone that's giving some kind of trade, someone that's treating you badly, someone that you feel like it has, it has happened before with the previous relationship. So why, why do you think a lady should continue? And she's, maybe she's about... You know, Nigerian mentality, they feel like when you're aged, it's over for you. So maybe pressure from parents, pressure from friends, Family. and everything. And but you don't want to make the same mistake you made. Maybe you've divorced twice or something. So what do you expect that woman to do to still grow with a man? Everybody has so stuff. I'm not growing with anybody. I don't even have plans because anything that you choose to grow. The reason why you're not doing it because you know it's not good. No, so you tell them that it's not. It, it's you can go with a man good. who is giving you like assurance, who you know that. This man, there's something, okay, he has potentials or he loves me or he's someone that can die for me. But if you're not sure, please don't go for love, money. And you die for me, i Exactly. Then they wind their head like that too. I love you, but I, cannot, I, I couldn't help it. And uh, uh, you, 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 you remove your trousers, remove seeing this. <laughs> you do not remember your girlfriend. I say, stop it. Yeah, you until finish. they are done. Nah, wash off. Wear your trousers, now we will kill you. <laughs> I don't feel like people coming to me with cheating because if I want to analyze cheating, the normal essence of it, the protocols is people used to do the cheating. Eh? Mm. So of this of our celebrities, if they want to go and sleep with different men, the men will have to um, probably um, rent a different room for them. Then at night, they will now sleep to and go and do what they want to do in the morning. So you cannot be able to phantom what is happening, updates. I say women, why not they try? So feel free to call the call phone lines. Yes, please. If you want to contribute. Do we have the phone lines on? Yes. If you want to contribute, please go ahead. The topic is see what age do you think is enough for a young guy to get married or be in a relationship? Is the age just a number? Is it a cause of maturity? Is it a cause of growth? Because I realize that some women and men were forced to grow up to become mothers and fathers. Yeah. Like I used to say, children very, would leave home to feed unfair. home. Yeah, which is very unfair. Very unfair. It hurts me. Uh, some parents are not ready to take responsibility of the children. Why bring them to the war and war to yeah. sleep under the bridge? It hurts for me. I used to tell people, make God men burn them. <laughs> if you born men too, make God men remove your womb. <laughs> Keep on saying incubator. <laughs> exactly. Because okay. even the poor, poor ones that can buy, buy, they can bomb bon. Exactly. And I don't even know how God used to save them. They be born and home and safe to be there. You and know what I was telling my sister yesterday? Mm-hmm. I say most broke poor men, they give birth to so many children so that they, they born like 
like 10, at least four would be successful. That's how they use their children to do, to play Monopoly. Oh, okay. Okay, if I do four like this, if I give it to 10, four of them at least, if bad as it's bad, at least two what? go get money. So they don't really care about all their feelings. The when you're getting successful, the ones that, that they have like open way breakthrough, they will not be very familiar with that one and abandon the old ones. Which is wrong. Which is very wrong. Which is very wrong. So we see open up to the phone lines to know. Are the phone lines open? To know if um, I want to hear from a guy personally because um, I've seen a 22-year-old boy marry and he did better than a 40-year-old man. Yeah. So I want us to have a conversation. Let's know if it's by age or by experience. When you see this boy and he tells you that he's 22, you will not believe it. I asked him, how come you act so much? Or he said he mingles with mature people. He doesn't mingle people. with his pair. I said, let's go and smoke shisha. Let's go on. So his mentality and their mentality is not yeah. the same thing. And sometimes it's parenting. There are parents who, who groom their children. They are so close to their children. They are like friends with their children. And they understand life so well. So they tell their children, this thing is not good. This is good. Don't do this. Don't do that. Be nice to people. Be this to people. So they like train their children that way. When those children now meet up with other adults, they seem smarter or more mature than the adults. It's just, mm. it's either friends, your peer group, or parenting. Okay. We're still waiting for the phone calls to keep coming in while we're talking about age that you need to do mm -hmm. to get married. For me, I don't think age is a barrier. From 25, I think you're okay if you're comfortable. But I used to tell people, don't marry if you don't have money. Don't marry. Marriage reduces a man's sexual libido. Yes, because once you marry a man, he has to carry your family, extended family, his work. So sometimes those days when our father is sit us and we say, mm, mm, we don't understand. And now yeah. adulthood we've entered inside. So for me, I feel my own personal orientation. Mm. I believe that people are different. Me, I like to start with men from a scratch. Even though they never work for me, I know they scratch again, but yeah. I'm that kind of person that I want to see you build. You know that point, you see somebody evolve. I'm mm -hmm. not a, I, I don't get trips. I've had men that are billionaires. I don't get trips by not all this really noise. Know. I call yeah. it noise. If you go in there with them, I want to walk into a place conveniently, yeah. sit conveniently and, you know. Feel do, safe. Feel safe, that's the word. So I think 25 if you are capable, because there yeah. are some um, kids that are very fast with education, like my own son is 12 years old. Mm. Very soon he's going to be writing senior work. Because. So 25, yes, if you're 25 and you're established. And the beauty about abroad, those who have traveled, you can work. But the disadvantage here is that they say, make you bring NYC certificates. Say, if you don't bring NYC certificates, nobody answer you. Do we have a caller there? Yes. Hello? We can hear the person. Hello. Hello, good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, very good. I'm fine, madam. What team and where are you calling from? Okay, I'm Ella. I'm calling from Akuta. Okay, ma'am, go ahead. You wanna to contribute to the show? Yeah. Um attending to the 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 topic. Uh, what I will have to say is that, um, firstly, I don't see there's a particular age that uh, uh, guarantees a man for getting marriage. As long as, um, as long as his mind is mature enough to handle marriage, he understands what marriage is, then he's ready for it. And secondly, uh, talking about money. Uh, the Bible uh, made us to understand that uh, he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing and has obtained favor from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So definitely a wife is supposed to bring in that favor to the man's life. Mm -hmm. Because okay. it, is, it has been placed there by God. That as a woman, as a man, when you find a wife and you marry her, she, is already, she has already brought favor. Women are carriers of favor, naturally. Mm -hmm. So if you are a woman and you're not bringing favor to a man's life, then you should ask yourself what you are doing. 
Mm. So you are the one, you as a woman, you are the one that's supposed to bring in that favor to the man's life to help him grow. Not he must have so amount of money before he grows. Take a look at um, the Old Testament, the Abraham times and all that. The wives, the, the men, they married these women, they don't, they, they don't, uh, Abraham had nothing when he married Sarah. It was when he was with Sarah, he started journey from one country to the other. That was when God started blessing him. That was when God, in short, it was because of Sarah, God blessed Adam. Mm. So what I'm trying to say is that we as women, we should remove that mindset of the man must be already made. The man must be. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, I think we have another caller. Hello? Okay, we lost the caller. The other woman who spoke, spoke very well. She's saying that you should manage. Me and Sarah, boy, she's saying we are not managing. I beg. We got to go and walk. That time I did this, she's yeah. down for house. Carry on, go outside, go walk. I feel like when... It's a... Uh, this, this has nothing to do with religion. It's just about humans. Are you saying that if a woman is married to a man, she, she married to the man because she, she loved him, she got married to the man because she loves she loved him or she loves him, are you saying that nothing is working well for the man is the woman's fault? Because you say as a woman, you're supposed to bring favor to a man, like mm. it's mandatory. So how does that happen? This is not about religion. We have our religion. This is not about religion. This is about reality. So if you keep sticking to uh, this person, say, because the way it worked for Adam or Abraham, like you said, cannot work for another person. It happens differently. So just follow your mindset, what this place tells you. What works for you, that's exactly. most important thing. You've heard that. We've not still seen any guys tell us the age rate. We, 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 for me, I just feel from 25 to 26. Yeah. A man should start having that sense of responsibility. Nobody is even telling you to bring. I used to tell most of my clients when they come for therapy. The funniest part is that you guys are not talking. You will come for counseling and come, okay, there was a story a woman came for counseling and mm. complained how bad her husband was in bed that she, she was cheating. Mm. I said, can I have your husband's number? Do I, I would not have to tell your husband mm. that she's cheating. So I said, can I have like a couple meeting with you guys? Yeah. They said, yes. When I had a couple meeting, I asked the woman to narrate the same story that she narrated. Yeah. She narrated the story. When she narrated the story, the man said, how come he used to come? Oh. That he, he was doing feeling like an odogu. Like anytime he, he said, she said, I used to come, pretend to come to boost your ego. Fake it. On top of fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> the man must be rich for you to fake it. Or maybe she doesn't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> Why are you guys married? If I cannot tell you, baby, I want this or I, I want more. that. It yeah. makes sense to me. That's not marriage at mm. all. So the lines are still open. Are the calls jamming? We're supposed to have had more than... We're going on a break very soon, guys. So let's quickly fix the um, phone lines. Don't forget, it's DSTV Pop Central. I'm to blessing to you. Yeah. Um, we're going to be coming back very soon to continue the story. I love you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Moments of Blessing See You. If you just get into your television, the number to dial is channel 189 on your DSTV only on Pop Central. Where we talk about relationship, marriage, and everything that happens behind closed door. I have a guest. You guys should know this guest, Saida Butch. So we're trying to talk about a man sent the story, and he said, "What age or do you have to be before you get into a relationship or marriage, or what amount of money do you have?" Saida Butch said, "50 million at least. That's what I said. At least 50 million." <laughs> But I'm not here. Who is that? At least 50 million. Yeah. For you to be in your That means all oh, men with not gay now. We are even still looking for. You don't have to be gay to make money. We are money. still looking for straight men. Yeah. And let's go and If you have million. to be gay to make money, then you shouldn't insult women. You shouldn't call a girl a shawu or losho. If you have to be gay to make money. <laughs> for me, I disagree with Sida Bush because 50 million is huge. 
Is it? Yeah, yeah. People drive cars for 50 million. Yes. And that's so, like one of their cars. Some people have it, but you, the pressure. You know, so, some very young people who listen to this program will be like, I'm not doing well. I'm not yeah. doing better. Yeah. So if it, but, but if you see it, like if you have a girlfriend to the young people, if because I'm obviously, I'm on the, I'm old. So if you have a girlfriend who is like managing with you and she's saying, okay, I want to start over with you, cherish her. Because if that one leave your hand, now the ones you don't get since they come and you must get 15 million to marry them. So mm. hold that way and treat her way. Don't use her and play anyhow. I can't marry to get this expensive. Yeah. Free marriage, I got to give to you. They cost of it. All of yours. Do we have a caller? Yeah. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. My name is Blessing to you, and I'm here with Sider Watch. I'm aware of you. Okay, um, it's nice to meet you guys, and you guys look beautiful on okay. set. So, oh. um, just when I say that, your dresses look good. So, mm -hmm. um, my name is Charles. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yeah, Loud we can. And go ahead. Hello? Yeah, we can hear we you. We can hear you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can we hear can you. You're a gentleman. Don't go. The microphone. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I'm here. Go um, ahead. Um, as for my opinion, getting married and getting into a relationship. Mm -hmm. So for a relationship for a guy... Like if I were a father talking to my son, okay. depending on whatever it is, I want him to come out with from that relationship. Am I looking for experience? Because really, people who get into relationships early come out with experiences that yeah. no one can teach you. Mm -hmm. It's good to also experience heartbreak early yeah. if you're going to be experiencing heartbreak. It teaches you a lot of things yeah. about the opposite sex, how to treat them, and all of that. So for age, I would say 17, 18. I'm not talking about having sex yet. I'm talking about relationship. Because really... Um, breakups can be termed as failures, and I think a child should experience failure early in life. Yeah. So true. you're at an age where you can handle this breakup. It doesn't mm -hmm. affect your academics and things. You don't want to get to a stage where you're starting too early, mm -hmm. and then when you get broken up with, it starts to trickle down into your academics and all that. Mm -hmm. So for relationship per se, I would say 18 for a guy mm -hmm. in Nigeria. 17, 18 for a guy in Nigeria. Sex in itself, you be my picking. Person tell me, say, then catch you, the straff girl. Maybe 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. Because that experience is also very important. Mm. You see, this, this matter of sex, it is scattered relationship where person enters virgin. So, I'm not, I, I, I don't know, it's, Looking at it from the biblical point, I'm doing something so wrong. A shape pastor, continue. <laughs> I'm doing something so wrong now, propagating um, sex before marriage and all that. But really, it depends on who you are and this what you reality. believe. So, sex is very important. Learning these things. Sex, say it again, sir. Sex is very what? Sex is very important. It's Please, paramount. I didn't hear it what he said. Sex is very important. Thank you, sir. Now, if you are blessed, trust me, if you are blessed as a younger man and you have relations with an older woman, then you are on a very good path in terms mm -hmm. of that sex thing. Because an older woman will tell you what it is you need to do and you will not feel a certain type of way because she's senior you. Yeah. Now, you're, you're listening to what I'm saying. I'm telling you different reasons why you're going into this relationship. Yeah. So if it is sex, I am saying 20. But if you're going into a relationship, say, I want to start marriage and all that. Where's the caller? Where's the caller? I think that, that person was very, very, very vast. Um, I picked out a little point from him. What do you think, Sarah? About he was just a bit vast. It wasn't really hello. We had another color. We lost it. For me, okay. the guy that just spoke, he just spoke in general. Yeah. 
he was just being general. To me, I still stand that there is no specific amount of money. I have known people who got married in a one room apartment, and after three years, boom, they skyrocketed. Yeah, but the part where he said, um, you don't have to be 18. Okay, I call us on, I guess. Okay, do we have a call? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Oh. Okay, looks like we we are having a good conversation. Of so, course um, we are. Me being general, yes. Now, I haven't put in terms of money. I don't know mm. what the question is, if it's in relation to money. I just talked about age. I heard about age. Okay. Now, we are talking all things being equal. I'm still going to talk about money because after, I think money and sex are on the same level, to be honest. Yeah. Even yeah. if you to put one above the other, mm -hmm. trust me. It gets a situation where you go deal, per se, where you go deal with, with sex, they're more important. Most especially yeah. if you're with a rich lady, uh -huh. sex is more important to her. So now, for um, what age a man should get married? I have seen things, I have seen things that have made me understand now is that it's good to start having children early. We have to think about every aspect. It's good to start having children early, mm. and obviously you should get married at an early age of, for a guy, mm. I would say 28, if you have a good job. Now, let's bring money in. I'm not saying just jump in because you want to have children and everything. God <sighs> bless you, you did NYC, you get job for Chevron, you start to the work 23. 28, too much, you make yourself, ah. There are people, trust me, there are people who finish university nowadays at 22. People who yeah, go to and everything, you finish NYC 23, you start working at Chevron, four years. The money where you go don't save working in an oil company. 27, you can get married. 27, you can get married. So now, what if you don't have boyfriend? You, I don't know if you just say, get married. Do you have line boys here for us and we do not choose? <laughs> and we lost the call, huh? Uh -huh. As much as he was being sarcastic, he was making a whole lot of sense. All right, guys. For me, I still say there's no, there's no um, criteria for marriage or time being or for money. Yeah. Because I grew up as a young girl. I'm gonna say this on a live video. I grew up as a young girl, watching my parents fight. Like, I came from a toxic place. Like, if I go to school, I used to be afraid to go back home because. Flying bottles and flying boilers. If you just touch your straight bullets. So um, the class teacher noticed it and said, Let's say something is wrong. And I said, My parents, and then it was even face me, I face you. It's not just like a flat when yeah. you finish, you enter your room, lock your door, and the noise was just too much. So um, we're going to quickly go on a break right now. We'll be right back. Don't change the station. It's still. Moment of blessing to you, channel 189, and I'm here with Sai the Bosch. Hi guys, welcome back to Moment of Blessing to you. I've been darling, see, Shabby. I've been darling. I hope you're still on your station, channel 189, DSTV only on Pop Central. We're actually talking about the male folk at this point. How much does a man need to have in his bank account before he gets into a relationship or marriage? Or how old is a man supposed to be before he involves himself in a relationship or marriage? So that boy said 50 million. At For least. Me, at least, oh, I mean, you have to have more. For me, um, I'm not a money cautious person. Why? I know how to make money. And I'm this kind of person that likes to brag that, okay, I started up with you. Yeah. Because you know those rich guys, once they are rich, they feel that everybody's coming to just grab something from them. That's why you see most people go back to their access. So the man yeah. is saying, how much do you need to have? <laughs> to me, oh, you don't even need to have so much. So long as you love this person. I remember when I was doing my own traditional marriage. Mm. My ex-husband didn't have enough. You know, they would bring things home and all those kind of stuff. I was one telling my mother, he does not have money, just, they were removing it. So the thing is, is how you want to carry. And men, try as much as possible for 
women to know your financial capacity. Yeah. Because a lot of you, you people are liars. You people will meet fine girls like now, say, hello, baby, you will deny your wife, deny your unborn children, deny everything. Deny everything. And you now come and put us on a roller coaster. Tomorrow they say you're dating a married man. A married man. man. So me, I'll say there's no particular ma- a date for me or age. Age is just a number. And sometimes I tell people I'm 35 and they still say I'm lying. I'm lying like, no. like younger or older? What do they mean lying? I'm older than 35. What do they mean? You know, a lot of them actually think, you know, when you've achieved a certain thing in your life, and they have not. Yeah. There are people that are 35 that see year one. Yeah, so they want to make you feel like uh, if that's not your age, it's you're not lying. Possible. Because yeah. if it's true, then why am I here? So they want to give excuses for themselves. Some people just feel like because I failed here and you excelled here, yeah. it's not possible. But you don't understand that everybody have different, yeah, grades. you know, growing up. For me, I would say if you're a man and you're ready to get married, I don't even care about your pocket. I care about your mental health. A lot of men have not been groomed mentally for marriage. Mm. We have a call. Hello? 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 Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Hello? Good evening, mother. Mike, we can hear you. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Hello? <laughs> We lost the color. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening, ma. I can, can hear, hear you. Darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? I guess we lost that too. Did we? Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. That's what actually ha- happens. The, you know, most times they want to come and be watching themselves. Yeah. So the uh, echo begins to, for me, like I was saying before we got, got the caller that Hello? came, I prefer a man that has, we have another caller. Hello? Hello? Good evening, sir. Good evening, Hello? sir. I can hear you. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, we can. I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, so I was the guy who was talking in the chat. Um, I was talking based on age at that time. I think you denying his voice. Yeah, you are know, talking money, right? Yeah. Uh, for this Nigeria, I heard um, the other lady say 50M. 50M is not going to be for, but really, um, in the Nigeria of today, women are looking for stability. I think it is better for a woman to cheat on a man because of um, sex, not because of money. My reasons are personal. So, she's like, you're struggling to get me. Sorry, let me hope it's better now. Are you Your reason should me? not be personal because you are here. So, say it. Okay, um, a man will feel like he's getting more if he's getting more money. Yeah. Because he's getting more money. Yeah. Because he's getting more money. Yeah. Because he's getting more money. But he may have some little confidence, say, Monato God make me no fuck on I as I sabi do. So if she's putting on him based on sex, you have them putting on you. But you prefer it to be that she's cheating on you with a richer guy hmm. for the aspect of money. And not sex. Because a woman can go to a gardener because of sex. But it better make me know saying a person will reach past you. She, she cheated upwards than cheating downwards. Now, to talk about an amount, I think 50 million is fair enough in Nigeria today. But then again, we have to look at age. We're not just pushing young boys. We're not pushing young boys to go into Yahoo or something. And it depends on your age. So if you're 27 trying to get married, 27 trying to get money married, I would say you should have 20 million in your account that you're not touching. It's an investment. It's somewhere, maybe real estate, fixed deposit, uh, treasury bills. So 27. is it fair that you're talking about age now and money? Is it fair? Is it fair to men? So younger boys should like should have 20 million, older men should have 50 million. Is it fair? Where is that? Is that, is that if, you've lived life, if you've lived life, 
I mean, what were you doing with your life? I know I, I can't no, say. No, that's unfair because so many men, they're okay. actually responsible men, but life was like unfair, quite unfair to them if unfair you want to go to through them. that aspect. Yeah. Okay. And there are so many nonchalant young boys. So would you say now you want to judge with age? I am saying, yes, I, I'm actually saying that because a woman would assume that a 40-year-old man cannot go and be doing a nine to five again. If you never make 30 million as at 40 years that you are coming to ask for my hand in marriage, when do you want to make it again? Is it me you want to use for the ritual? <laughs> this guy is okay. <laughs> I no, get no, that. I, like that. <laughs> I get that you, part from that angle. I get from that angle. So we have to think of it like that. So for a young boy, mm -hmm. if you're on 20 million, 27, I like how you laugh. If you're 27, I mean, we can still say time still D. Mm -hmm. For you to have made 20 million and 27, the okay. future is bright. 27, oh, 20 million will know the touch. You, so, okay. I guess the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's quite fun. <laughs> Now, you've seen, I think I see, uh, first time I'm seeing one handsome guy supporting inside that watch. Who told you he's handsome? This is when he sounds handsome. <laughs> uh, he sounds handsome. The fact that he agreed with the money part, I don't have a problem with that, whatever. As long as you agree with the money, it's, it's okay. We, we said, but what's the cash you want there? Can't you do that? Can't they will not use me. Money. They will not see me. They will use your sister. <laughs> I think you have a call. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I'm the lady that called, the first caller. Okay, okay ma'am, okay. go ahead. So, I suddenly disagree with this caller that just, this man that just talks just now. Okay. Because you cannot be putting pressure, pressure on young youth saying they, they must have 20 million. Then other men must have 15 million before they, before they think of getting married. The number one priority, as in the, the, the first thing we should be looking at is does this man knows the importance of marriage? Like, can this man organize a home? Is he okay mentally to keep a home? Does he know things about marriage? Does he know responsibilities as a father? So we should not just center just on money, 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 money. Because uh, when um, you see married couples, when they have issues, you can testify that their issues is not actually centered on money. I think um, uh, our relationship therapist, um, the CEO, can attest to that. I don't think they have, there's anybody that has come to her and say, uh, there's no money in the marriage, so I'm bored, I'm bored of the marriage, I don't, I don't understand what this man is doing, there's no money. I don't think money is, should be the number one thing. Mm -hmm. I think what should be the number, number one thing is the character of the man. Don't How will you know the person's character? First of all, the woman can never come to you because she does not even have money. Only rich people seek therapy. Do you understand it? No matter how much you love a man, if there's no money, the love will die. That's just the truth. That's reality. That's the thing. So if you don't have money, you cannot seek therapy. They come to her and complain about sex because they have money to pay. Of course, she's not cheap. When I, sorry, when I say therapy, eh? Yes, if you don't have money, you cannot seek therapy. Yeah. But you can seek advice from elder ones, elderly ones that you will not have to pay to get that advice from that person. And that person can still advise you on what marriage entails. That one, you are not paying a dime for that. So what I'm trying to say is that you should, first of all, ascertain this place I'm going to, am I having peace of mind? Is this man going to give me peace? Will I have peace in this marriage? That is the number one thing you should think about. Because you are, you are growing children with this man. You might have the whole money and everything, but you're not happy in the marriage. Your children are not even happy where they find themselves in because of the person you marry. Because the person does not have a mentality of this is what a father, this is how okay. a husband is supposed to. This is this is one. We've lost the color. This is one thing I don't want to use the word hate. I dislike with women. Stop making excuses for men. Yes. Stop it. You make us look like fools. We walk, we fuck, we burn, we cook, a lot. we carry family. Your own, the only thing a man needs to do is carry your blockers and go and make money. 
and she even Real sounds money. she doesn't even sound happy. So how do you, how, that, how do you want to advise other other you ladies? You don't sound happy. happy. No. That guy was talking, he was joking, but you were so serious. It shows you are, you are angry. You're not even vesting her. Talk, let her help you. Speak. <laughs> say something. What do you mean? She's not happy. Yeah, what? <laughs> Ma, please say something. It's not too late. You can, yeah, you can speak. I, I disagree with that one. No, 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 no. And I used to tell a lot of women, most they come for therapy. They are Lagos women and Abuja women, they are very good in spoiling young boys. Go and look at young boys, don't want to walk. They are looking for sugar mummy. If I open my DM for you, you will run. Some will send Bola, I will eat you for 225 hours. I'll be like, ah, oh God, oh, that's not what I came to Lagos. Even me, I'm looking for sugar daddy. If you what? see, please pass to me. So, um, the next topic was a very, very insightful mm -hmm. one. And thank you so much for Cider Watch for coming because yeah. I see Cider Watch on Instagram and people, she goes back and forth with people, you know, especially with men when it comes to mindset. Like Provide, me. they will cry. Bring money, they will cry. But when it comes to a different person, it's as if they are selective. Yeah. There's some people that are selected to do bad things. <laughs> and who and are you to tell me what to say? You're say nobody, it. especially when oh, you're broke. You? Exactly. <laughs> So thank you so much, Saida Boch, for thank coming, my love. I call her my mini me. Because when I started eight years ago, now so, we not green. <laughs> we talk one, we talk five. <laughs> we give you 10 replies. So thank you so much, guys. Thank I hope you, you so learned much. one or two. We're going to see you next Saturday, same time, same station. It's moment to bless to you. Yeah. And I love Bye. you guys.